Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. E3 and puppets this week Ooh. on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 147, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? Uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. Uh, uh, oh, wait! Guess what? What? No. What? There was a Crossy Road update. Oh, oh damn! I love this. Speak yes. on this. Um, there was six six additional characters released. Oh. Um, three are winnable from the prize machine. Three are unlockable secret characters. It hey. took me nine took me nine attempts to unlock the characters. Any dinosaurs? No. Oh. Um, the ones I unlocked were stealth. Uh, it's like a. a I don't know, a spy, um, Archie, and... Uh, wait, 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 the Archie? Yeah, Archie. Oh, wow. And cool. um, uh, a carton of milk from the game Baggett. Oh, nice! I love uh, Baggett. That's a great game. All I can all I can tell from the, the secret characters is one of them is Jughead. Oh, that's cool. Um, I yeah, don't that's know what cool. the other two are, and I haven't I haven't unlocked them yet, so we'll get there. Um, but yeah, so I, I still have over 30,000 coins that I can't use in this game. <laughs> but hey, you got all, all the unlockable stuff. <laughs> right, I did. Um, but yeah, uh, that the, the Crazy Cat game. Um, the, the Professional Bowling Association Commissioner um, retweeted my article. Nice. So there's that. Um, <laughs> How about but, Pete uh, Weber? No, not Pete Weber. <laughs> um, that's all I, all I did, though. Nice. All right, uh, Riz, what did you achieve this week? I I I, I didn't die in Dar- in uh, Bloodborne yet, so that's nice. a good thing. That's good. And I'm probably gonna jinx myself. Uh, <laughs> and you're done. And I'm dead. <laughs> um, but other than that, I've just been uh, watching the E3 coverage, and okay. that's pretty much all I've been doing. I've just been playing Bloodborne a lot because everybody I know has beaten the game who has it. Uh, and it's pissing me off a little bit. Hmm. Hey, right. Sorg, what did you achieve this oh, week? Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I played a little bit of Blops with uh, Mr. Chachi over there, for one thing. Chachi. Mr. Chachi. Chachis. Uh, let's Chachis. see. Chachis. Was that last week? Though? No, it was a week before I played Guitar Hero 3. Um, but other than that, I've been uh, I, I still really kind of uh, taken to it in um, uh, Mortal Kombat X and Justice and uh, Immortals. Uh, accomplished. I, 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 I beat the Raiden tr- challenge in Mortal Kombat X, so I'm very excited about that. Nice. So I got the gold card there of Raiden. Uh, so uh, and I'm trying to kind of figure out the next thing. I, I, I really kind of want to get into, well, one, I need to return to Bioshock Infinite and uh, return to some of these older console games and, and maybe play with some stuff here. So um, I think that's about it for me, though. Mm-hmm. It's a busy week. Busy, busy week. Real quick, uh, Buddy Landell said that he he is going to be frozen until uh, Shenmue comes out. <laughs> Shenmue three comes out. Shenmue. 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 Shenmue mm-hmm. Whatever. Shenmue three. Get, get, no, Bobby. <laughs> you did not. Who's gonna stop Bobby, you, you right there? I can what? mute you. I can mute you. Come at me, bro. Come at uh, you, bro. No, 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 no. It's not from me. It's not from me. From Sword. <laughs> uh, but you, I, I'm just gonna say, if you ever disrespect. Shenmue again. Hey, I'm not going to disrespect. I'm not going to disrespect any game that has forklifts in it. Okay. If if you disrespect Shenmue, you're going to have. I just can't a, pronounce it. A ginormous fan base for some reason coming yeah, at no. you. Full <laughs> I like that for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, um, I achieved this week. I went to the casino and played some adult games again. Oh. Uh, didn't do very very well. Um. And uh, I played some Crossy Road and all that stuff like that. So, yeah. all right, uh, Chachi, you want to send us around the net? It's now time for video game theme thing from around the internet. Net, 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 net. There's a snake. There's a snake on you. There's a snake on your shoulder. Yeah, it's Porky. He's There's out. a snake on my boot. Um, first up, uh, uh, 
Bandai's releasing a figure sometime in the future. Um, it's available for pre-order if you can read Japanese. It's $28, and it's a shirtless uh, Brock from Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Um, Must feed him food. No, way. he feeds them food. That's right. He's a chef. Yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> um, it looks a little too risque um, to be uh, a children's video game figure. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a thing. Um, Interesting. <laughs> have you guys ever wanted a, a three-foot-tall uh, functional Game Boy? Yes. Sure. <laughs> um, over at uh, Hackaday, uh, a project was born and completed where they created what they called Game Boy XXL. Mm, uh, fully functional. I, that is for uh, me. Three foot tall uh, Game Boy, original Game Boy. Nice. I Custom need a Game case, Boy 3 uh, So uh, you can go over and check it out. Um, they used the laser cutter for the, the 2D parts and everything nice. else. So it, it's all detailed over there at the link on the web page. And last but not least, along the lines of the Mad Max video where they edited in uh, Mario clips and sounds, uh, someone took a collection of failed videos from YouTube and added Mario. Uh, essentially, it's Mario causing all of these fails. Oh, um, no. So anytime someone falls, it's Mario coming in with a turtle shell or uh, coming in with the uh, Mario Kart and making them fall. So uh, go over to insertcointobegin.com and check it out. It's really funny. Uh, and that's all we have for this week in video game thing things for around the internet. Net, 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 net. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Uh, this week we're going to be talking a lot about E3. Um, a lot of the press conference has happened so far. Um, oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> not uh, a lot of the news E3. has been released yet, uh, but we're going to go through each of the main press conferences and give our thoughts on them. And at the end, we're going to talk about anything else we liked and our, our final battle question. So we're going to start with Microsoft since they were the first one to have a press conference mm -hmm. besides Bethesda. Um Microsoft hit us with a lot of innovation this year, uh, plus a lot of nostalgia. Uh, some of the innovation that was revealed, uh, the Elite Wireless Controller, which is $150, I heard. That's nuts. <laughs> uh, the HoloLens and Oculus Rift uh, partnering with Xbox, which is kind of cool. That Minecraft right. demo was amazing. It was. Uh, we talked about that a little bit on Awesome Cast as well, if you mm -hmm. want to get really techy with it. <laughs> um, also, the new interface for Xbox One, they talked about that a little bit. And backwards compatibility, which means you can play most of your 360 games on Xbox One, which is awesome because that expands their game library. And you didn't waste $60 from last generation. <laughs> so um, what were some of your favorite things of the innovation of like Xbox? What did you guys like? Uh, again, I spoke on, on AwesomeCast about this a little bit, but I like that there is a little more connection with the PC coming up with Windows 10. I feel like this is long, 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 long overdue, and I hope it executes well, and I hope it makes me... Uh, please, make me want to use my PC to connect with my Xbox. Um, and for me in general, uh, I, I really think uh, finally, between the backwards compatibility, the, the little bit of a price drop, the promise of compatibility with all the VR and HoloLens and everything, um, I'm ready. I think within the next year, I'll probably have an Xbox One. Cool. Cool. Um, well, uh, also, it was announced um, you can use mods on Fallout 4. But that's like the first game to allow mods on Xbox. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be amazing. Hey, not, not just on Xbox, on any oh, console. Is it, oh, is it on any, any console? No, 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 no. no. You're, you're saying that it's the first time on Xbox. I'm just saying oh, it's okay. the first time on any console. Oh, yeah, console. any console. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Besides PC. Uh, well, PC is its own thing. But yeah, like like Sorg was saying, the I I own PlayStation Four, mm -hmm. and the one thing that I mentioned profusely about what I wanted in Microsoft's E3 was a little biased, but I was really looking forward for Microsoft. To make me regret buying buying a PlayStation Four, mm -hmm. uh, and they they honestly they did it they they kind of did it with the uh, 
HoloLens, the Oculus Rift type, type stuff. That's, that's going to be expensive for a That's going to be really though. expensive, though. <laughs> uh, but just to see that live mm-hmm. was pretty neat. And, like, like again, like Sork that said, I... the hell out of Storybook from PlayStation oh, last man. year. I'll get into the storybook later, though. <laughs> um, but back, the backwards compatibility thing is also a thing that I want in my PlayStation, but it's not there yet, and I don't know why. Even though they do have the uh, PlayStation uh, Red Box or whatever that was called. Um, but other than that, it, it, it was a good showing for Microsoft and the in- innovations level, as well as the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's talk about some of these games. What, what were some of your favorite games? Dark Souls. Who, who, whoever wants to Dark, Dark Souls, Souls 3. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dark Souls 3. Ah, I still haven't beaten Bloodborne yet. I always Shit. got a soft spot for uh, for Halo, certainly. None so. of these. Really? None of these? Really? The answer is none of these. Okay. Okay. You're talking... Okay. Halo 5. Uh-huh. Uh, Gears, Gears of War. Four. Yeah, yeah there were a lot of sequels. Gears Four, Rise of Tomb Raider, Fallout Four, Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare Two, Forza Six. No, yeah, uh, no, I, 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 but but they did the the one promising new new IP they had was um uh Recore. Mm-hmm. By the yeah. creator of Mega Man, that looks amazing. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's an early demo of it, but they uh. I was watching the Xbox uh, on, on the Xbox uh, thing they said they had uh, the live uh, demos and stuff they were doing, and they had an art, uh, they had a, a, an interview with the, in, Inafune, and he said that um, you'll be able to go through the world and like get different robot companions as you go, and the with the sandstorms that come through, it changes the environment. During the game and everything, like uh, it's gonna be. It's, it sounds like it's gonna it be looks really interesting. Cool. It, it does. Really, it does really look interesting. And yeah, mm-hmm. that's the one that kind of captured me out of the Xbox one. Again, a lot of the stuff coming to the Xbox was really announced on other, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Tomb Raider is gonna be exclusive. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but it's probably gonna be on PC as well. So I'll probably get that on a Steam sale as it is. So yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I'm not, I'm, I'm not having no Xbox One. I'm not inaccessible. I went to look up. I was like, man, Arkham Knight comes out. Ah, I don't have any of the new consoles. Oh, it's it's available on Steam. I'll have it mm-hmm. by a summer sale next year. Mm-hmm. You know, I still have to play Origins. So, I mean, that that's uh, that's kind of where I, I'm at. I'm not I'm not a cutting edge gamer, unfortunately. One of the games that we there there didn't mention for some reason, which is kind of. Again, why I'm jealous. <laughs> I know you're mad. Why about I'm <laughs> really fucking jealous at the play oh. Microsoft. Sorry, oh, I'm are me. you talking about Mass Effect? No. No. Oh, okay. Uh, the Rare Collection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. RC Pro Am, Battletoads, Conquer. How how did the, how did Xbox just out Nintendo Nintendo with all of my favorites? Well, well Rare. Where is owned by Nintendo? I know. I know, I know the answer yeah, is. I was kind of being. Uh, yeah. Uh, Snarky. Yeah. Well, whatever the word is there, um, but no, no, a rhetorical. Uh, but no, no, I realize that. But you know, with RC Pro Am and everything like that, they didn't mm-hmm. belong to Nintendo. They just published them. Uh, but still, it's just kind of like oh, this is my childhood. You know, just like yep. Killer Instinct popping up. You know, I mean, it, it's uh, uh, it, it's it's kind of cool, and uh, it's kind of cool that they're capitalizing that and we're like, remember all the cool stuff we did? Yay! And sometimes they kind of need to do that. Nintendo does it too much. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> they they had a live demo of this on the Xbox thing too, and uh, they said that you'll be able to go through each game and play what they call remixes, I guess, where you can only play like the boss battles if you want to. Ooh. For like Battle Toads, um, you could it like just different levels if you want to just select that level to play. Um, and, and the full games, of course, will be available as mm-hmm. well in, in a different section. But I, I thought that was a neat little touch for it. And then they have a special seg- a segment that goes through the history of Rare, like for their 30th anniversary. All right, any other uh, Microsoft things you want to touch on? Oh, I, I have one more thing for Microsoft I want to touch on. All the independent ID at Xbox games mm-hmm. they announced. Uh, Ark, I'm ex- super excited because my PC is crap. <laughs> I'll be able to play Ark finally. I'll be able to play uh, DayZ finally. Mm-hmm. Cuphead, is, is, you remember a couple uh, months ago, we were talking about how uh, our video game's art? Mm-hmm. 
Cuphead is a valid argument in that battle, mm-hmm. or that discussion, because Cuphead looks like a, you're playing a cartoon from the 20s or 30s. It does, and I, I think across the board, uh, not just Xbox, there's the... Uh, there's the yarn one I think Sony is putting out, uh, that EA is putting out, uh, but I think that might be Sony only. Uh, I mean, they, they're doing some gorgeous, gorgeous things. Oh, yeah. And even even I was watching back the Oculus announcement, and all the cool stuff coming out of Oculus is independent. And mm-hmm. and, and I think it's, it's nice that everybody uh, talked about some sort of independent program uh, to push this type of thing. And Cuphead being the most, I, I, you know, some of our friends of ours that I, we usually don't talk video games with, I've seen tweet about Cuphead. Uh, today and uh, it's just it's astonishing and this is the kind of stuff you know uh, I have definitely gotten more legwork out of uh, you know more more out of the the five dollar game I've bought on Xbox 360 than the the sixty dollar game you know I mean that's that's Castle Crashers which they announced for yeah, Xbox like Castle One. Crashers stuff like that yeah. so I mean that that's it, I think that's where it's at I think I, I you know you don't need to go in and drop sixty dollars for mm-hmm. for Arkham Knight and all that kind of stuff to feel like you've got a lot out of your four hundred dollar console because that power is being used in other interesting ways, like in the case of Cuphead. Um, the, the, another one I want to t- talk about a little bit is that I think it was called Ashen. That would look like a painting, like the people didn't have faces, hmm. and then uh, the giant whale thing at the end that was really cool. Like I I love that. I thought that was beautiful. But uh, yeah, all right, we're gonna move on to Sony. Well, whoa, 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 hold what, on. What, what, if you're going to talk about artistic game announced at E3, uh-huh. then you're going to talk about Unravel. Yeah. Which one was um, that one? Uh, that's EA. That's the, uh, that's the okay. yarn one. Yeah. Uh, independent Studio. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just sort of mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. That I, I couldn't remember one? the name of it, but the, the, the Unraveled is the one I was talking about. Okay. But uh, Is that Sony? Is that Sony? Uh, I think it was Sony, because it's yeah. the same guys who made... Uh, uh, Little Big Planet, I think. Mm-hmm. Media molecule, molecule. Yeah, molecule, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it, it's a metaphor for love and our connections with people, guys. Uh, but no, <laughs> it, but it's completely. It looks amazing. Uh, my obsession. I didn't see that. One. My obsession yeah. this entire uh, E3, and we can roll into this with uh, Sony, is things that look fuzzy on my screen that we're generating like, yes. like, like texture, right? Uh, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World it does does this as well. Uh, but that yeah. game uh, in Sony, Dreams does that. Oh, Dreams. Um, dreams. Looks, we're gonna talk about Dreams. I don't. Oh. I don't understand Dreams, but I'm captivated by it. It, it's, just, um, it's a big sandbox. It is. It, it looked more, I, I mean, not. it looked more like a tech demo so far. Yeah, yeah. Than it, a it, game. It, it looks like they're... But, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, um, I, I was going to say, I have faith in Media Molecule that they can do anything mm-hmm. after a little big planet. Right, so. right. They're about building stuff. This is their Project Spark, I think, from the from mm-hmm. what, what I got out of it. It's like, re- like, I'm looking at the stuff that they're presenting. I'm like, really? So I'm going to build that? You know, <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, the one thing I will say about dreams is, I believe as soon as somebody loads that up, maybe maybe <laughs> somewhere down the line. I even said this in in my mind, and I think I probably said it in the tweet. Yeah, you said it in. I heard you say it in the thing. Uh, there's going to be a lot of douchers drawing penises. <laughs> you you know you know that's going to happen. There, there's there's going to be a 3D a 3D version of just a giant dick. <laughs> Unless it's banned. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but people are still going to try to make it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see in this in, in this awesome uh, look at the video, bears, they're I, so fuzzy. The, the, the panda yeah, bears, the, the, the polar bears, the, the polar bears, bears, bears. are awesome. Oh. So now, Riz, Riz, I know you you uh, watched the um, Sony press conference. Yes, Sorg and I, I Sorg and I watched it as well, but my uh, feed cut off uh, uh-huh. during the Project Morpheus thing. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, the Project Morpheus? Yeah. Uh, it, it is. I'm I'm very interested to see where uh, Project Morpheus goes. Uh, the the ability to not only have Project Morpheus, but to also be able to have a multiplayer experience like they 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 want to have mm-hmm. the four uh, the four player multiplayer with a virtual reality headset 
I, I'm I'm just thinking to myself, how is that even possible? And then they showed it, and I'm like, that's how it's possible. You know, I want to qualify that. They showed that. I think they did a very good job about showcasing that and said we're mm-hmm. going to concentrate on this. But I feel like they're certainly not going to be the only ones presenting that kind of solution. I know. that They, they weren't even the first ones to do that no, now. Though. No, no. I mean, so, I mean play, uh, as you guys mentioned, Microsoft allows you to use the tablet, like Microsoft Surface, as well as – uh, their their VR headset, and that looked amazing too. I'm just saying, it, Morpheus looks nice. <laughs> I mean, it, it's still long away from you know being available to the common public, <laughs> unless somebody you know wants to give us two three thousand uh, dollars a piece. And yeah, <laughs> just just having that there would be pretty cool to have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and having, like, I know for a fact that if they have a game like Evolve, mm-hmm. if they have that game and the monster wears the headset while everybody else chases the monster, that would make big bucks. I could see something like that. Mm-hmm. Now, do you guys think, now, with all this talk of VR, do you guys think it's going to be push to next the next gen consoles or do you think it's going to make it to the current gen i i think they're already making stuff for this generation okay i i, I don't know how much it might not be affordable though yeah oh no no no, no that's a problem <laughs> none of this is going to be this is the promise yeah. And, and this isn't something that's going to be in everybody's house for several, several, several years. But mm-hmm. the fact that we're at this point, and there was a, even the Oculus thing I listened back to, they're like, listen, the stuff that we're doing now, if you would have told us about it, somebody, one of us about it like four years ago, it's science fiction. It's absolutely mm-hmm. science fiction. We did not have this. This did not. This technology did not exist. This possibility did not exist. Nothing. Um, so it's, you know, this is a step. And that we're at this point that they're going to release the 1.0. This is the Apple Watch. This is the 1.0 of this that not everybody is getting. But uh, but anyways. Are you just killing me? All right. Uh, what were some of your favorite games, guys, from the PlayStation um, announcement? All right. All right. I'm going to start this off. Okay. I th- th- There were two games that I want to talk about. Okay. The first one is uh, No Man's Sky. Which looks amazing. That looked amazing I mean, last year, too. I mean, you have the entire galaxy, first of all. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like, I don't think, it, is it just like computer-generated galaxies all I over the so, place? Yeah. And you, you can, have your own planet. You can have your own yeah, planet. you can have your own planet. You can do battles with other players. You can do battles with aliens. You can do a lot of different things. And you can destroy everything or be nice and, you know, happy uh humans uh mm-hmm. but but it looks just and it, it looks amazing i i kind of in the back of my mind i'm like i kind of wish they had somebody uh more excited about it than they had the guy they had uh, but that's just a little nitpick uh but i the, thought the entire crowd was gonna throw up because of the, the promotion sickness because of the oh, rewind yeah. how they rewound it like clear back but that was kind of cool though yeah and the other one I want to talk about is uh, is that the, the new the, the Horizon game that, that came out. Me and Sword were talking about, or Sword oh. and I were talking about that. Uh, it, it looks good. It looks really <laughs> that's good. What, that's one of the ones I was jealous about. Like it, 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 it I'm probably going to wind up buying that sooner mm-hmm. or later. Keep uh, in mind, though, it's by the Killzone Studio, who has so what? had the best of track records. Have you seen that game so far? Yeah, I did. I mean, it, it's probably, it, it, it looked it's really probably good. Trailer, Killzone but... looked pretty good, too, though. <laughs> no, it didn't. To be, to be fair. But... No, it didn't. Uh, no, but... when it first came out, it did. Uh, but still, I, I I want to shoot... I want to shoot giant robot dinosaurs mm-hmm. with my robotic bow and arrow. That's how awesome that sounds right now. Yeah, it looked really cool. Um, one of the ones I want to talk about... Um, the Last Guardian looks amazing, and it exists. They yeah. showed it. They showed it first, Bobby. Yeah, I know. And I was like, I was like, this is awesome. I was, I was really impressed with it. Uh, the, the, 
the little kid like running around like calling the pet or calling the guardian everywhere and just the, the sounds that the that, that, that was making was and it was scared of that like cart <laughs> i thought that was a good touch it was like i'm not going over there Move that uh, it, thing. it made me when I, I looked at my dog yeah. and go and went why don't you have wings and a beak <laughs> and chicken feet <laughs> i can deal with chicken i can deal without chicken feet. <laughs> Uh, now guys, this is this is the same guys who actually made this is from Japan Studios, the same guys who made Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. And when I first showed up, I'm like, is this gonna be like Bloodborne two? And this kid's gonna die. I'm gonna be sad. Mm. Uh, but but the Last Guardian, like you said, looks amazing. Have I you look- ever played Ico? No. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, and and Shadow of Colossus too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in, that, in that instance, um, another oh, one. I, another one I was impressed with uh, was Firewatch, which I think it's coming. It, it started off as a PC game, right? Yeah, it, it started I, I don't off. I think it's it, exclusive, but it looked really good. Yeah, it started off as an indie game, and it, it to me it looked like a uh, outdoorsy version of the Stanley Parable, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it is just like a. I think it's more like a strategy type walk around game, and like the graphics are amazing, as you can see in this in these ones. Uh, I was re- really caught, like really surprised that this game was this cool. <laughs> That's a dorky way of saying it, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I might play that game sooner or later. Okay, um, Sorg, do you want to touch on uh, Shenmue? Shenmue. 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 I'm sorry. Shenmue. Shenmue. Yes. I'm so excited. So this is very strange. This is the first time I think they've ever done something like this. So Shenmue, it wasn't a game announcement. It no. was a it was, Kickstarter yeah. announcement. And I checked it earlier today and it was at, it was at, oh, uh, it reached it. it I, yeah. yeah. It was at like, uh, 1.2, didn't they say? 1.2 million of the 2 million that they they wanted to, to, I'm thinking of just going ahead and pledge so I can get the digital copy when it comes I out. I think, I think it broke, I think it broke Kickstarter. Too. Did it? It broke the internet. It broke oh, the internet. Geez. Well, no, I mean, I mean, seriously, it broke Kickstarter. It, it, it destroyed. No, it didn't just break Kickstarter. It destroyed Kickstarter. <laughs> like, like after, I believe an hour after they announced it. Mm-hmm. Kickstarter was now, backed up. Now, is this going to be a P- PlayStation exclusive, or did they just announce that? They that, just that announced it. Okay. They're, they're, they saying, wanted, they're saying they wanted for, that announcement. No, they are saying for modern platforms, PC, and PlayStation okay. 4, so mm-hmm. I, I can go ahead and get my digital copy. In the meantime, does Dreamcast? anybody have a copy of Shenmue 2 in an Xbox, original Xbox I can borrow? Um, no. I hadn't played that one yet. But uh, but but I, I still enjoyed the the original original. I think I can get a Japanese version of the original for the Dreamcast. But <laughs> but, but who wants to do that? Yeah, they're yeah. at uh, two point seven million of their two million dollar goal. Wow. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna do okay. Let's see, digital copy for twenty nine dollars on your PC or PS4, and you get all the updates leading up to them. Uh, estimated delivery December twenty seventeen. Just a heads up there. Wow. Nice. Wow. That's a uh, long way <laughs> Now, if I can, if I can butt in here, oh, were you done with Shenmue, Sword? Yeah. You wanna, yeah. Uh, I'm excited, oh. and I might be hitting the button on the digital copy now. Now? <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the cool things that we didn't touch on uh, was the fact that you can play, that Sony is now allowing you to play the betas mm-hmm. of Hitman, Street Fighter V, Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed, uh, I believe, a uh, Call of Duty Blops three, and which, which it's now the official home of Call of Duty. Oh man, that which they kept saying. Oh, which I was yeah. like, eh, whatever. They got the That's, DLC. They got the DLC. They got, they got, they got, they got the all DLC the first. DLC. Wow. First. wow. And I believe had, Uncharted. Wow. I, I believe Uncharted oh, was also uh, was also. Gotcha. Gotcha, I think you're muted. Yeah, sure. the key word is first. Yeah, first. Yes. We get yeah, all first. Yeah, it's it's only first. fair because we've had it for how many years? Yeah, an exclusive it first. For, or like, and of course, like, and, exclusive. And I always Ooh, hear, I have to wait a month for <laughs> something I don't For something play. I don't, yeah, exactly. Well, how many games? Any other, that's pretty much all we do. And, and this is the show game of E3 because how many times did they show a thing and we're now sitting there thinking, 
was that just for PlayStation? No, they mm-hmm. got the rights to show the trailer first. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so, so get, I mean, uh, you know, and they're trying to confuse you on that and they're trying to no, think, no, they want to no, make sure. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you're allowed, it, that they're giving beta testing first. Okay. For all those games. Yeah, oh, exactly. we, we went down around. You get to play a broken game. Yes. <laughs> yes. One, one thing I will amazing. say. One thing I will say. The uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, mm-hmm. thing had had PlayStation first on it. So does that mean it's coming for PC? Does it mean it's probably for Xbox? Probably. probably. There's Bobby, I don't know. I have... hope it's coming for Xbox. But you Bobby, know. Bobby, all these games that were announced, mm-hmm. like it or not. Are going to find their way if they're not on there already. Except for on Street Fighter Steam. Five. Yeah. Um, well, that'll be on Steam. No, they'll, 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 be on Steam. they'll all be on Steam. They'll so all be on Steam. So, so that is the ultimate platform. I can want my Xbox to download Street Fighter Five on Steam and play it on the Xbox. Nope. <laughs> Or when when Street Fighter Five comes out, you buy a computer from two years ago, you'll be able to play almost everything. Yeah, um, anyways. Much. Okay. So right. on the beta testing. Um, also, uh, uh, they're allowing the same thing, I think, on Xbox as well. Okay. So um, I don't know if they have the same games, but but uh, I think indie developers mostly they're going to be pushing this for. Yeah, uh, uh, I think that uh, the one game they have. But very interesting, ID. isn't it? Very interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That, that we're at this point where we can be like, here's an unfinished game. They give you an, and, and, and they said us, they're going to let you try enough of it so you can get into it. And you're basically pre-ordering the game. I think that's mm-hmm. it, that's the way the PlayStation yeah, yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So so I mean, you were already sold on it to begin with, mm-hmm. and now you're I'm be- just happy. There, I'm just happy that Microsoft's having free trials again. Mm-hmm. I missed that on Xbox One. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt you. So. No, that's fine. Um, all right, do you, do we want to move on to Nintendo? No. <laughs> That's not all right. All right. So, so I had the yeah. the role for this one. Oh, oh, I wanted to add on that last one on the, on the Final Fantasy thing. Uh, mm-hmm. They're going to release. The, they said they delayed. They, I guess the PC version of Final Fantasy VII. I think there's something significant. I think they upgraded the graphics or something on it. Um, I remember, oh, it, it's I, the PC port. The PC it, port. Yeah, I remember it being a big deal when it came out originally. Yeah, it's still coming. Um, out. <laughs> they're, 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 they said the holidays it should be out, but in the meantime, uh, play, uh, Final Fantasy VII on your iOS device will be out by the end of summer. So mm. that's a, that's exciting to see. Okay, uh, Nintendo. Nintendo started yeah, out strong Nintendo. with puppets. <laughs> I enjoyed the puppets. Puppets were nice amazing. Puppet Reggie. Oh, puppet Puppet Reggie. <laughs> puppet Reggie. Uh, counting up to Nintendo sixty four was pretty funny. So I'm like, this is great. You know, we get to. I, cut, I, we don't have. We don't have awkward Japanese president guy reading English to us for <laughs> half an hour. Yeah, exactly. And, and uncomfortably, they used Reggie. They used puppets. They made it fun. They've gotten the hang of the digital, the digital things. Mm-hmm. Right, they know how to do this. They know how to present their thing. They started strong with Star Fox. I love the concept that the controller is the cockpit view, and then you have the third person on the on the screen. I, I like that. It's like a poor man's VR kind of thing. It's the, it's their Google Cardboard solution to to what's going on out there. Um, they they also were really big about Mario Maker. It's coming out very mm-hmm. very soon. They're very clear about NX. We're going to talk about next year. Well, other yep. stuff we're going to talk about next year uh, or later this this year. Uh, we are going to talk about the games immediately coming out for the most part, aside from maybe three games uh, before the end of the year. That's what that was their core concentration. They didn't tease something that we're not going to see more of until next year. Final Fantasy. They were just saying we're, they were just announcing that they're starting the game. For instance, um, so I'm surprised they they didn't have a surprise reveal at the end like they usually do. Right, there was nothing. They really didn't. Nothing popped up, or there wasn't like Starfix yeah. on the TV behind them like last yeah, year okay. or anything like that. Uh, there was nothing to set up for what's going to come next year, other than we know there will be this NX project. The in between gets a little funny. <laughs> as funny. it always does with Nintendo, because we, funny is a we have word, that, sort of. we have we have two Zelda games for the DS. Uh, Hyrule, Warriors, uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends is going to be an adaptation. Which, if you didn't get it on Wii U, that's good because I don't have a Wii U. I have a yeah, 3DS. Yeah, if you have 3DS, that's good. For that. I, I like that they are cross it over. Um, uh, the the Hyrule Hero, or Hyrule or uh, uh, Triforce Heroes or whatever Triforce they were, Heroes, yeah. uh, is going to concentrate on on co op instead of party uh, versus play. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting as well. I don't know about their clothing model that they have going on in there, uh, but that's. <laughs> 
Okay, That's sure, sure. It, it's more Zelda. So there was Zelda. There was Zelda, but not mm-hmm. the Zelda you not wanted, the one we exactly. Wanted. But they, they did announce today that it's still coming out for Wii U. They did. They did. It, they, and yeah. it's on. There's, which, a, there's an infographic that has it slated in 2016. So we'll which, hear about which it. Which I'm year. thinking it's gonna. They're gonna pull a Twilight Princess, and mm-hmm. release them simultaneously for Wii U and the NX. And other than that, and then they get to that mushy middle where it's like, here's a bunch of Japanese stuff that. Uh, none. I, it's very nichey, basically, you're right? Forgetting one, yeah, yeah. What? F-E. Japanese Japanese characters, Effie. <laughs> yeah, what was that? I, I, I was like, <laughs> no. is this no, Japanese? Is this, this Japanese gem? What's happening here? And it, it was all in Japanese. There was no was, dub over. There was no 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 subtitles. It's and, beautiful animation. Oh, it looks amazing, but I had no idea why. <laughs> Sword, you're forgetting the biggest game that they announced. Mario Tennis Ultra. Hey, I'm excited for that. Yeah. I like Mario Tennis. Well, Luigi gets his own game. It's just another... <laughs> we didn't even have a Splatoon to get me excited. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No Splatoon. Uh, no Pokemon. Really... No. Oh, uh, they Zero. announced new IPs. Zero, some new IPs, but nothing yeah. really getting me excited. There's a Metroid Prime kind of co-op uh, DS yeah, game. Yeah, everybody was disappointed. That, that. that really did not look good. It no. really did not look good. I mean, the puppets um, look good. The, uh, the 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 Mario and Luigi game looks like it could be fun. But oh, not, that looked. Not... I, I was impressed with that. I like Paper Jam. Right. I mean that that looks that looks fun if you're into that game. But again, mm-hmm. it's kind of like well, here's more stuff or spoon feeding your Mario. It's what Nintendo does. What is keeping Nintendo afloat? And what I think they're doing better than anybody are the toys. They mm-hmm. announced uh, Skylanders made toys that, that are compatible with both the Skylanders games, the new one, and um, and the Amiibo stuff. There's actually a Switch that switches between the mm-hmm. two of them. Uh, I want everything wool made. Okay. Uh, yes. All the Yoshis. You can put your Mario character in the woolly world, and it turns into a Mario Yoshi wool, wool Yoshi. Um, so I, I, I mean, I think they have the most extensive support for and most uh, wanted and collectible of those toy type things uh, as anybody as a Skylanders as a, a a Disney Infinity. I think they're beating. All, I think they're being everybody in the digital physical toy space. Uh, I was saying instead of uh, concentrating on virtual reality like everybody else is, they're making real things for you to hold. Hmm. And that's their play. That's not a direct, I'm sure, mission, but 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 I think that's uh, they're, how they're looking at things. And again, they're, they're returning to becoming a, a toy company. Very <laughs> much to- so, a toy company. So, very literally a toy company. So. But overall, kind of disappointing. Yeah, gotcha. no, nothing to get you really exciting. I'm not buying a Wii based on today's I, announcements. I really, I, I really want to hear what Chachi has to say about this. I'm not talking about Nintendo. Oh, oh the um, silent treatment. I, I am not. I, the only thing Nintendo has done this year to impress me was uh, the Nintendo World Championships yes. and uh, Super Mario Maker. Which, I. I not even kidding. I was prepared to buy a Wii U before an <laughs> Xbox One, uh, based on Super Mario Maker alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, not so much. I have of, well, Zelda gone. Right. There, there's well, no Zelda. until later. But there's no Zelda. There's I no have Zelda. no reason to buy a Wii U. Um. Tell me, I, and actually, I'm going to look it up myself. But uh, when one of your major properties doesn't come out on your system, I, I see a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, Activision went out and found three companies to make Call of Duty mm-hmm. to make sure that game gets released every year. Yeah. Um, they noticed that two wasn't cutting it, so they found one, found another one. You know, maybe you need to go out and find someone to take over a different property so that you can make sure to get one of your main games. Out. Hey, and they've been doing that, right? Team Ninja has been working on games. Uh, Retro, Retro Studios was one that picked up the Metroid franchise and did some great yeah. things. Namco has been doing stuff with them with Star Fox in the past. Well, Koei did the uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Dynasty right. Warriors yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Iron I mean, Warriors. They have. Anyone want to take a guess at when Twilight Princess came out? 1995. No. <laughs> uh, 2007, right? 2006. No. Yeah. Well, what so, about Skyward Sword? 
Oh, let's see. Skyward Sword. I forgot about Skyward Sword. Cause that was 2008. Tell yeah. how good that was, huh? Yeah, that was in uh, 2008. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, seven years hmm. since the last Zelda game. How many Mario games have come out in the last seven <laughs> yeah. years? How many? How many Point. Tomb Raider games? How many? How many of those other things? We're getting sequelitis everywhere, everywhere else, but where is my Zelda? Mm -hmm. You know, right. uh, something is wrong. Something is amiss at Nintendo mm -hmm. when it comes to these things and these development cycles. Um, Sword. What? You know what isn't amiss? What isn't amiss? Pizza. Oh. Right, because I don't know how it could be a mess. <laughs> I don't know how that applies to the situation, but in the in the meantime, we can just agree on Slice on Broadway is the greatest thing mm -hmm. that you're going to put in your mouth this week. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with great pepperoni pizza. Uh, and we got some right here. We were uh, uh, showing it off. Uh, Katie was was periscoping the pepperoni pizza from the Pittsburgh podcast. Uh, wow. Three for the awesome cast, for instance. Go follow her <laughs> and uh, and check out our friends SliceOnBroadway.com, Slice on Broadway on Facebook and the. Uh, on the Instagram, so you can get hungry too. PGH underscore slice on the Twitter, and uh, please tell them that the boss battle from InsertCoinToBegin.com is where you heard about them. Um, Bobby? All right, our final battle question, our final round question here. Um, what were you most excited about out of all of E3 this year so far? I want to know the, your best game, your best trailer. Uh, who do you thought had the best press conference? Uh, anything, and anything we didn't talk about from the other press conferences. My favorite thing. Hmm. Hmm. Who wants to go first? Who has a favorite thing? I do. Okay, okay go Try for it. Go. Um, so here's something I never thought I'd say. I'm really excited for the next South Park game. Mm -hmm. Wow! Whoa. That was that was good. What I was going to mention too. Um, <laughs> especially and, and especially since Shachi has a history with the South Park people. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that, uh, they don't like me. Um, New York Comic Con. Why do your games suck? Yeah. Uh, the feeling that is was mutual. This is um, well, also, it was a different studio. So. Yeah, it exactly. was. Yeah, it was. Uh, but, uh, you probably fixed the problem. I probably did. Uh, <laughs> but uh, at the beginning of the Ubisoft press conference yesterday, uh, Matt and Trey came out and they announced uh, South Park Fractured Butthole. <laughs> um, and that's fractured, but whole. Um, B U T. Yes. Um, and uh, essentially, it's a a continuation of the Stick of Truth game. Um, but they're they're superheroes this time, and it looks like they're they're taking on Captain Chaos and everyone else that they uh. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really excited for that South Park game. Uh, what was the, what was the one character from the show Crunch uh, something Berry Crunch Mintberry Crunch Mintberry Crunch he's he's yeah. in the trailer shooting like little oh, cereal balls yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it's gonna be incredible um, I'm really excited about that game uh, and like I said it's not something that I, I expected to ever say mm -hmm. um, but uh, other than that uh, the extended CGI trailer for Assassin's Creed of course was really good. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm kind of interested about this Division game. Oh, you mean the most mm -hmm. uplifting game of all time? Yes. <laughs> um, I, I'm rather excited about that, uh, just from the multiplayer trailer I'm that they showed. By it. Um, I, I just think that it's an interesting dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know. Very depressing, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and that... And I realized that Tom Clancy makes a lot of games. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. And they, they had a surprise game that nobody knew was there. Ghost Recon, uh, what was it, Wild something? Uh, yeah, Wild, uh, Wild Run or something like that? Something like that, oh, yeah. I yeah. thought it was a new IP. <laughs> <laughs> like, based on the, the trailer that they surprised us with at the end, I thought it was a new property. And then I'm like, oh, never mind, it's just Ghost Recon. Like, you know what? I'm going to start playing some Tom Clancy games. Because apparently there's a billion of them. Start there reading are. these books, too. There are. Uh, who wants to go next? Who, oh, oh uh, Chachi, who had the best press conference, you, did you think? Ubisoft. Ubisoft? Okay. Uh, Aisha Taylor is probably the best host that you can get for a press conference. I get to watch their press conference. Mm -hmm. um, I heard EA shit the bed. Yeah. Well, here's uh, the okay. thing. 
all of these other companies are using their own staff mm -hmm. to host press conferences. As you know said, who? You know who we don't want to talk or hear talk at press conference? <laughs> Video game executives and Pele. Oh, that yeah. one guy from Sony though. He was and Pele. He was awesome. Um, and this is this is why I think it's great that so, uh, Nintendo pre-records theirs, so they don't right. have to worry about that. Yeah, it, it's it, you have the chance to make your press conference mm -hmm. good if you pre-record it. Uh, these companies don't want to do that. They want to waste the money and do it live. Mm -hmm. um, you know what's not a waste of money? Using a voice actor that you already have on the payroll to do the hosting. Mm -hmm. Aisha Taylor's already on the payroll. You might as well use her to host your press conference, which yeah, is what Ubisoft did. The only mistake Ubisoft made during their press conference was having Jason Derulo perform Jason Derulo. In, in the middle of... And no, Bobby, you would think so, <laughs> but no, I had to Google who it was because he didn't sing his name. Ah, oh, I'm, like, I'm like, who is that? I thought it was Chris Brown. No, it turns out it was Jason Derulo. <laughs> he just forgot to sing his name. Where was Kevin Owens when you needed him? Oh, I know. Uh, show. Wrong show, Bobby. Different show. Um, but uh, yeah, so Ubisoft had the, had the best presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I got who wants to go next? I got one. Uh, well, first of all, from the chat, uh, uh, Wheels is saying that he was ready to get an Xbox One after yesterday's press conference, so he's okay. sold on that. Cool. Um, and, and Brother Matt, who, uh, by the way, thanks to him for uh, covering yesterday's Microsoft and EA press conferences and doing mm -hmm. articles for those. He's actually hopping out so Definitely. he can do the PC press conference that's happening right now as we're filming. PC press conference? What um, the heck? Is, what world, so, are, world are we living in? We, we already saw the PC press conference. It was everything it was, it was, that was It was shown. everything. It was Microsoft, <laughs> I know. I think, I think they'll just show up and be like, well? <laughs> just replay the entire press conference of it's everything. A, you've seen it. It's, just, it's, it's uh, just Bill Gates going, ta-da! I know one of the partners is <laughs> one of the partners is NVIDIA. So it's like, yeah, we did that. Because like, the physics it's engine is in. How, shit, much, right how much stuff is the physics engine in? How much stuff is running NVIDIA hardware? Although I think a lot of the consoles are actually running AMD for the graphics. Mm. Um, right now, so anyways, uh, but uh, what okay, what am I excited about? Mm -hmm. The Tomb Raider mobile game, okay, Tomb Raider Go, Tomb Raider for, Go. I want you to make a note in your calendar for me. What's that? I need you to put appointment, tell Chachi to punch me in the face next time I see him. <laughs> Why? Because no, you said no. you're excited about a Tomb Raider game. I am. Hey, hey, no, no, no. The Tomb Raider game for Raider. Xbox looks amazing. No, no, don't get me wrong. That, that looks amazing. Hour. But more immediately, I'm going to play the crap out of the, the phone game. Because it it's, oh, listen, they, obviously, somewhere that Square Enix uh, has been playing a lot of Monument Valley. They already made Hitman Go, which I played the heck out of. And uh, well, and they're taking an invite for a calendar appointment. And they're taking <laughs> and they're taking. <laughs> Go see Doctor Shelby. And Doctor Miyamoto. Dr. And they're taking and both Dr. of those Chachi concepts. Miyamoto. They're make, taking both of those concepts, and they're making a beautiful game that I will play on my phone, mm -hmm. which is where I play my games, which is where I will have it. Because the only downtime I get is when I'm on the toilet. And let's be honest about that, people. And you know what I'm <laughs> talking about, audience. Hey. Wow. Sorg, when you take that Oculus Rift into the toilet, you better thank Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they didn't show off multiplayer with the Oculus. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be playing Minecraft from the potty. There we <laughs> go. Uh, best conference was probably uh, Ubisoft, but I didn't get a chance to watch it. So, but a little bit I saw. It's like, the, yeah, they kind of have a feel here. So, uh, seconded by Xbox. So, uh, Xbox out of the ones I did watch most of. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, now, uh, Chachi, you brought it up before. What? Uh, I, I watched the e EA press conference, and before it started, I'm like, you know what would be awesome? If we saw something from Ma Mass Effect. <laughs> and then the first thing they show is the teaser trailer for Mass Effect. <laughs> Which looked like a cowboy game at first. It did, which <laughs> I was confused. But then I saw the fact that they, he was looking at the galaxy map, and I was so excited. Mm -hmm. And after that, I don't know what I don't know what the hell happened on EA because I turned it off because that was my EA press conference right there. 
<laughs> uh, let me give you a hint. Sports, 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 sports. sports, 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 sports. Yeah. Yeah, What's I can that? I can probably guarantee sports were the main process of that. But that little clip before the show made But guys, me... they're redoing the draft in Madden. Yeah I mean but if you're if you're into like the Madden games, that's good. Yeah, if you're in the Madden games, that's cool. But mm-hmm. most of the people that are there aren't really that into Madden. The jocks aren't watching this one. No. No, and that's why I'm I'm kind of weirded out the fact that EA still has a press conference here. This is not their territory. Uh, but, but also the, my, my, but yeah, Mass Effect shocked me and I can't wait to play it in yeah. two years. Yeah. <laughs> in the holiday of 2016. Um, and also Fallout 4. If we haven't mentioned mm-hmm. Fallout 4 yet. I don't know what's wrong with us. That well, we game, mentioned it earlier. I know we oh, did, but we haven't talked about it as much. We talked about it last week, though. I'm I sure. know, but we're going to talk about it again because, god damn, that trailer was awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it's a beautiful game. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting loud. Uh, but but, just the Fallout, the Fallout Shelter, mm-hmm. another mobile game, Sorg, uh, is the fact that you can play – you can have your phone – Pit on boy. your on your wrist from a Pip Boy is also pretty awesome, and the fact that you can switch between male or female. Mm-hmm. Well, you can either pick male or female, and the, the one you didn't pick will obviously yeah. die in a massive explosion. Uh, it, it it looks amazing, just straight up amazing. And the, the winner actually, I want to give it to Bethesda, mm. okay, because. Doom. Mm-hmm. Doom and Fallout 4 were mentioned in the same sentence. <laughs> and the Doom game looks like an actual Doom game and not a horror flick. Cool. Not it does it star the rock. No. Okay. Uh and 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 for the console, Microsoft. Okay. Um I'm gonna go with Microsoft as far as my uh, favorite press conference that I out of the ones I saw. I didn't get to watch uh, Ubisoft or any of the other ones yet. Yet, um, I uh, I'm most excited for Recore. I think out of the th- the things that were shown, uh, and Stick of Truth, like Chachi said, I, that was gonna I was gonna mention that as one of my favorite things. Um, I'm actually more excited for the games that they haven't announced yet. Like tomorrow, when these little bits of news start coming out, mm-hmm. when the show floor is open, I think tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, another thing I'm I'm really excited for, uh, Transformers Devastation, which they announced. Uh, not sure if it's coming for the Xbox One yet, but it is coming for PS3, so I can at least get it on that. Um, it, and if you're not familiar with that, it is a shell a self shaded IDW uh, Transformers comics game based on the comics, I guess, and G1. Uh, it looks amazing, uh, so I'm excited about that one. Um. And just gaming in general. I mean, I'm 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 excited because I can play all my 360 games on the Xbox One soon, you know. And and uh, just excited for what's to come. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. But you know, for for the, the jump on what you were saying. Mm-hmm. Besides EA, name one. Besides EA and Nintendo, name one press conference that did horrible. They were all pretty decent, what I saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they were all awesome, and it made me happy. Like Microsoft and Play- and Sony did what I wanted them to do. Mm-hmm. They focused sometimes on the uh, virtual reality world, but they also made their main focus on the games. The video games. <laughs> yep. It wasn't about like, like tech or anything. There, there was no year. motion sensor storybook time. I don't even think they mentioned Connect this year. I think Connect dead. <laughs> no, yeah, I, it's I dead. honestly it's think Connect is dead. It's done. Yep. It's dead. Glad I bought one. Yep. Good job. Good job, Bobby. You know, let me see if I can turn it on Xbox. Oh! <laughs> from my house. It's um the the right. VRs in That's the nice. Hololens are basically going to replace it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the next step. But this was that was a stopgap to get a little bit. You know, it it, it really was a um, a uh, a, a stopgap gimmick, mm-hmm. basically. 
So another cool thing they announced today, I was watching on the live thing. Um, uh, the their answer to Siri, um, what's it? What, what is it called? Cortana. Cortana is coming to Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And they 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 showed it. It's not going to like pause your game or anything. You can actually talk to Cortana and play their game at the same time. Invite friends to parties, stuff like that. See who's online. Um, it, it's going to be a really neat feature for this new Xbox look. So. Yeah, but you need to connect for that. Yep. N- oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to talk. It's to we're, when we're talking about this on Awesome Cats, I'm wondering if they're going to start um, maybe on the controller or a peripheral mm-hmm. or something. Just put a Honestly, microphone on it. Uh, with the PlayStation, I have both the camera and the headset. Okay. If you plug in the headset, you can talk to and do voice commands. That's another way to They'll do it, too. They'll probably put it in through that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I mean, I, the, the serious gamers have that headset anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. Catch up on all your E3 news. Uh, you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles do- going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com. Special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR for uh, helping us with the notes and the tweets all night. Uh, Sorg, you have anything to plug? Sorgatron.com. Check out all the stuff on the InsertCoinToBegin.com, all the postings of the stuff you need to check out from E3, and I'm sure there'll be some reaction posts from other things happening in E3 throughout the week as uh, as we kind of come across the things that interest us. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, guess I, did a, I did a mini boss last week as well. I can't remember what's... Oh, well, the, uh, on the Oculus event, uh, too. So please go check that out. So. All right, Chachi, you got anything, anything to plug? ChachiPlays.com! Donate button went live today. Yay. So go over and help us out. We got 23 hour slots available. Um, and then we're going to look for a couple people to join us at the uh, 4 a.m. Uh, Chachi Open uh, Ooh. golf outing um, <laughs> that we do. I've seen I've seen pictures of that. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll keep you posted on that. But, uh, yeah, go over and help us out. Awesome. All right, Riz, you got anything to plug? Bruce plays games. Okay. That's all I got. And I'm at Bobby FJ Ton. You can follow me on Twitter there. Game over, everybody. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.